Uh, hello, in this video I am going to do, uh, I'm going to do the audio on medical examination I have had on December the 28th, 2021, there you go, that's really a, a general hospital in Nova Mesto. This is very, very complex. Uh, this video is going to be in English, then I'm going to do one in Slovenian language. I'm just going to bypass all this stuff in English and do everything in Slovenian. But this is just for the English audience, of which, once I'm done with my speech explanation, you're going to have about one hour time to listen a couple uh, that awaited me, basically, I'm going to say they waited on me right outside of the house, which is three and a half kilometers from the city. Three kilometers from the city. This this is a house, like in a village. They assign one as a street, but this is not in a city center anywhere. Three kilometers from here is the city. Um, so, just as I would walk out, I had a beautiful couple coming along. And they greeted me just as they promised they would under NK Ultra, right in front of our house. Uh, supposedly they did go for a walk, but I remember that um, over the course of the years in here and abroad, um, a male English Englishman uh, and very proud soul. He told me back then, very proud man, uh, as far as English, very, very well, uh, very much English. Um, and then a girl, girl, American girl from Ohio, I met already definitely in 2008. And in 2008, and I would even go as far as 2006 and 2005. She was probably 16, 15 when I met first in Cleveland, in Ohio. I met her first. Uh, for the guy, because there were so many guys involved, I wasn't sure. But I knew that he was so nice. Uh, both age 32, I kind of thought they were, like, older. I did, because I was sure that I know him for a very long time. This guy was quite uh, involved in MK Ultra since, however, since 2012. Interesting. Uh, one day, uh, this guy popped up here in Novo Mesto under MK Ultra, and he was a really nice guy, very polite, fun, soft, really soft, nice guy, English. English guy, really English guy. You're going to hear the conversation. I did very, very poorly on that one. Uh, well, what I can say is that he is straight from the circle of royals from London. I can tell you that immediately I'm going to say this to you. This is not a random Englishman, even that he... Uh, insisted, okay, <laughs> he did, these guys, they just, they would not, they would not recognize, they would not, they would not be honest about the Buckingham Palace whatsoever, connection, uh, they wouldn't recognize, but this is, like, Buckingham Palace all over. Um, he, according to few days later, probably about two days later, it would be Harry that would appear here in Novo Mesto. You know? um, and um, since 2010, under MK Ultra, when William did something in Chicago, I'm going to remind. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm going to get those guys up. Uh, he did some really, really bad stuff, nasty stuff in 2010. Uh, I was kind of 
certain that we will split for good, that we're not going to see each other on a picture anymore. And so I also made myself clear that I don't want to see one anymore around. And he, he kept both. William and Harry keep coming back on the picture. And so in 2012, there you have Harry. So that didn't make sense to me because this, this guy was so soft, so nice, so kind. And I didn't know what the hell. And so all this, they were just rain, it was just pure from all over the world, all these politicians and Russians and everything, delegations, boom, boom, boom. All of a sudden, all messed was again. Crazy place. I was drugged up, and not too far from Loka, from location where I'm gonna insist in audio, uh, a couple with a dog should walk and have a nice coffee before departure to Kershko location that's about I don't know 60 uh, 50 kilometers something from here towards Zagreb direction to recreation Zagreb capital um, I think they were here actually in the village I think they were actually even staying here in the village they stayed here before they stayed right here next to my neighbor that's uh, actually a really good neighbor I like her she lost husband um, many would stay as they would come uh, at her place and uh, it was the last time they were here at least once, twice uh, they were staying with her this is a young fun couple they like to cook and have fun and entertain and so on. So she hosted whatever. Uh, and so, if they did go back to Kershko, they did. Great. If they stayed here, it would be nice if they would come over. You guys are invited over. Uh, I am not. I, I tend to keep issues separated from one another I am obviously not very happy in respect to British royals I am not happy about uh, British royals and I do have a lot of reasons for not being happy with these people um, but it's, don't worry there's also other people I'm not happy with uh, however you are not one of them good news that um. <laughs> Uh, the thing is that there was a lot of people who tried to make even this beautiful couple look badly. This is a whole giant universe behind this examination here. Um, for one thing, if you greet me right outside of the house, you know that I'm coming, so you must see me. It's not enough that you hear me somehow. You must see me that I come out of the house. That much about those cameras that I talked to you about, that there are cameras all over this house. There are cameras, there are cameras everywhere. And I'm not paranoid. In Poland, by accident I threw a parking ticket inside of the trash bin and I immediately returned to pick one up it was a security guard had one in his hands and he told me you have to go upstairs sorry and um, talk to the management about it a few days ago right here at the shopping center I pulled a personal ID out because you need for entrance you need a PCT examination for COVID confirmation you don't have COVID or something like that that you were tested and along that you have to present personal ID the ID had fallen out the man who was checking this out did not observe one my father is half blind deaf and um, he was nowhere near 
people walking left and right of us, uh, he already was several meters ahead of me, and uh, he started talking about if he lost something or something like that. I have audio recorded that stuff. And I knew immediately that it's probably I who have lost the ID. So I just turned back and I went right back in front of this guy, in front of his booth where he was checking uh, the IDs. And there was the ID right there on the floor. And it's not he, but he's got his hearing aid. And maybe he's got something else too. It's not the first occasion this stuff has happened like this. It it keeps happening like this. Okay. Listen, folks. It's like this. Uh, the young couple, it's a beautiful couple. They have absolutely nothing to do uh, with a Buckingham Palace. This young couple just needed a job, needed to improve their life like every young person uh, maybe a little bit adventurous too uh, but that's part of the nature and, and this is in every one of us hard working people, young people she's especially interesting to me because she is from Cleveland, Ohio that's a large Slovenian population Cleveland State, Ohio uh, and also in Canada, there was a large immigration from Slovenia, a lot of Slovenian immigrants immigrated when it was the Austro-Hungarian Empire. Uh, the most of the people that immigrated from area of Austro-Hungarian Empire were Slovenian people. And then there were also Croats, but Slovenian people dominated in Canada in northern part of the U.S., huge minority um, I didn't get anything right I thought that she was English <laughs> I have no idea how many English people how many British people were involved in this stuff in Britain when I was brought the people the number of the people that I met in Britain alone um, I had no reason not to actually assume that she was British and it was very slowly that it came to me this stuff because I was trying to catch who exactly I am dealing with this is just a young good-looking man and I have seen so many just young good-looking kids that who join me and in Poland and here and there, just so many. Okay, but this one was really, really sweet. This, this, this was really, really sweet. I knew immediately that he was. They had a dog. I think Milo was his name. Jeez, now I'm not sure. If I'm wrong, I apologize. Uh, but anyhow, I did not point out anything even as far as the age everything I was wrong about I am gonna go on the map late on whatever tomorrow and try to get actually her home did not give me the name did not give me anything um, it's not difficult to find places it's not difficult to point out uh, the problem is that you get in you start going over the town and it's just so many locations that you were brought time and again, time and again, time and again. That to so many towns all over the world that it takes too much time because you start to open the memories about certain locations and so on and certain things you start to recall and so on. Okay, this I don't have time for that. Uh, but I am going to try to point her place out. I'm going to take time to see if I can maybe quickly if it's going to happen or not. Okay. The examination, the medical examination that's uh, uh, that was done. I'm going to tell you straight. 
by uh, two physicians. One physician was a young girl, a lady, a young girl, attractive lady, um, who told me under MK Ultra, a physician involved in this case, uh, that I'm not her type, any, uh, that I'm, that she's not my type, anyhow. <laughs> uh, I think she could be anyone's type. Uh, the truth, however, is that I understand that she is devoted to Bolt Pahar. That's a physician that goes into Bolt Pahar is, uh, therefore Milan Kuchan is, um, I'm not going to say rank, but, you know, in that direction. You know, the physician, a male, that guy was involved since before he became uh, a physician. He was involved before he even started to specialize himself in this place. He specialized himself, I remember, in Celia, I think. Uh, and he was working in another department when first time he met me. I have no idea what year was it. But I think it was probably even 2012. He was there like briefly, something like this, and then he asked to be transferred to the department where I was at. Um, this time, when I went for medical examination, and they did transfer to him. This is a physician, Germak is his name. Uh, that he read about my case, became so fascinated with this that it just, it couldn't, um, I suppose that, um, I have no idea what happened to him, All right? Um, there was quite a lot of other people involved in MK Ultra that day that, uh, also were present. Uh, two police officers, one police officer that was present a really nice guy, and as I was standing in a hallway, I had um, I had a smartphone, and uh, as you look at a smartphone, I would put like a handcuffs, a, a photo with the handcuffs on it, because nothing in this world angers me more than someone that will try to patronize me, try to uh, make me feel some kind of guilt. Um, it wasn't about the police officer. I didn't show him in his face, you know, a handcuffs on the phone, but I hold him like this, and you have no idea what kind of reaction that was. And I hold away when I turned that on, that picture. It wasn't for the people. It was not for the people. It was a lot of bad stuff they involved these people into. One of the guys that was, that participated, they forced people into crap. He eventually, I will remember this. You're going to hear him if he talks of Indian language. You're going to understand. I'm not going to go and translate. He started to talk something about the letter. Letters, letters, letters. Um, I was in his house and all that stuff. The thing is that that he got like a... Somebody came to tell him that they got some kind of item for him somewhere. Like in, in one of the stores or something at, at like a super discounted price. So now I know that it wasn't only about the jobs... But it was also about, you know, it, of course, it was about the cars also the people got with a discounted rate. I think the car that I bought was the car that was sold at discounted rate. And the car, actually, it was about other items. The guy that I saw, I remember him, that he got something at a discounted rate in the store that time. But for the bad stuff, they did. But... I am not exactly after the people with this kind of issues, which 
were used by the politicians to redistribute a blame, a guilt, basically the stuff they have done they try to redistribute this onto other, onto the population and so on. So they corrupt the population. They got financing and stuff to basically corrupt, subvert the whole nation. This is a very, very interesting case. As Mr. Pahram Milan Kuchin did, oh, this is, this is, well, you can read about that stuff on my blog. I'm not going to go into that stuff. What angered me that day was a group of people that also actually, I later on I recall, they had nothing to do with this stuff really, but it was one of them that came out with something really stupid. And he stated me, he said that they're going to be watching me, you know, on every, every move. Uh, you're going to hear the guy that's going to come out and he's going to say the name Farbash. Farbash. He's going to call it Farbash. Farbash, Mr. Farbash. He told me under MK Ultra, I will be doing this kind of stuff. Involved in MK Ultra, younger kid. I will be doing this kind of stuff. Farbash means to paint. Paint. Uh, in German, Farbash. Slovenian that sounds like you're, you're lying basically, you're lying in that sense and when I pull the, the telephone out and put the picture with the handcuffs uh, he ran out and it was immediately uh, Mr. Farbash Mr. Farbash and then I started to talk to some lady over there the same thing and so on yeah, but it was one of the guys, it was a group of the people that would go upstairs with the elevator and then one of the guys told me he stressed some kind of anger with me and all that stuff they were doing they wouldn't allow to sleep and they this was a torture what they did make no mistake but this guy did something really really he said to me that it was others also they're going to be watching me and according to the way I'm going to act they're going to rate me well uh, I feel that based on proofs I have in my sleeves uh, based on what was done to me can literally decide about the life and death in this country this isn't about my feeling guilt this is about injustice that was done to me and anyone who will have in his head idea on how they're going to be judging me that person is fucked in the head. That's a mentally retarded one, I suppose. Because is he completely insane, the person? Or I don't know what to tell you. I lost three and a half years walking around, drugged up 24-7. And I lost altogether 27 years of life on this shit. And my spine was broken and I'm dealing with the cancer problems. And I've spent persecuted by psychiatric directly for eight years. And it must have been at least 40,000 jobs declined to me on two continents. The right to political asylum in more than a dozen countries. And I'm 50 years old without any crime record. So this kind of stuff is like a complete lunacy every offense an individual every individual involved in this crime this is more than crime was offense that would least anyone under different kind of circumstances it could easily give you at least a minimum for every person involved in this five years imprisonment without with considering you like easing circumstances as much as possible any individual involved in this MK Ultra case easily could get five years in jail you're talking about the drugging up person torture beatings 
uh, human trafficking, you're talking about the worst stuff you possibly can imagine. There is nothing in a crime book that was not done to me. And it wasn't done once. It was like Mr. Spielberg, Steven Spielberg stated, I don't want to see you die once. I want to see you die a thousand times. That's as far as death threats. But it was more. It was more than 10,000 times. But that's okay. That's the stuff that upset me. Those people, no, those people come from what I was taught. They come to meet for some kind of... I don't know what they have exactly. They have some kind of... I don't know, is it with the people that are... They have some kind of... Um, I don't remember what they told me. Uh, uh, death or... They they talk about some other issues and something. It's like a, like a group of people that regularly go up there. A security officer... I can tell you, the man was already there. He's already there for eight years. So, next to police, no. It was not meant for the police officer. This police officer was a very nice man. Uh, liked me and his colleague and everybody. Uh, the guy who repairs the skis, that's a very nice guy. Very nice people. Uh, it wasn't meant. It wasn't meant for any one of them. Uh not even for the physician not even for Mr. Farbash for the young kid that would be excited even less so for the guy with the with the shirt that had a, a golden star and written something in red that I had a particular problem with uh, under MKUltra I remember that shirts everything uh, it was about the idea, plain idea, that somebody out there would even dare to think about such a, I don't know, that's really arrogance uh, that would apply to me, you must be crazy. Uh, it's not about life and death only in this country that I can and will decide. It applies to United States of America, which citizen I am as well, and to Germany. And if God will give to Britain too. Because what Buckingham Palace did is very bad. It's illegal, it's criminal. This isn't a case about Epstein um, that's really nothing I told you about that's really nothing Assange had something important to tell but that's really nothing trust me compared to this that's really really nothing those are really really small things they're big, they're huge I know but that's really nothing compared to this the young couple just the working people British people, uh, I always adhered, I always accepted, I treated exceptionally well, and would never ever possibly imagine in, in, in the craziest dreams that something like this was actually, you know, because I was told we have to do this kind of stuff, we have to do this kind of stuff. Uh, to keep you around and so on and uh, you know it, it wasn't just to keep me around this Buckingham Palace pressed every button wherever they possibly could have to cause harm to cause damage and that's the kind of stuff you know that I never imagined that's going to be the case I never I'm going to say expected I definitely never demanded from anybody anything. It was MK Ultra. Okay, you didn't want me. Okay, so you go your way and I go my way. That's all you do. You get out of my way, that's all. But they wouldn't do this. They're very persistent, very persistent. 
Anyhow, on this medical examination, what I can say is, for the young couple, see if I can get this. Ah, uh, it doesn't matter. My my power bank uh, finally is now not demonstrating any kind of life. Uh, if you go and you want to charge one, now I'm going to demonstrate to you. I'm going to explain to you what exactly happened here in respect to a young couple. It will not anymore demonstrate whether it's charging or is not. And I have seen one no longer is charging and so on. And I don't believe that it was the young British kid who came. But someone did. Somebody came and told me, had me inside the room, will show me a power bank, his power bank, and was playing with it that plug one in to charge and it would not charge. Plug one the other way and it would not charge. Plug one whatever it was not charge. And then so that then you have to then you have to at the same time charge and discharge, but you're not supposed to do this long just so you get I don't know the contact so you get one going. It did appear to me because once you plug one only the light flashes like this. Once it flashes and it's it looks like dead. Like it's not charging, whatever. Um, he told me that this you're gonna be able to do only a few times, then if you're not gonna fix this, the power bank is gonna go to hell, whatever. I'm not gonna fix this, fuck that, because the power bank already was opened by somebody else before. And I'm not gonna put my fingerprints in it. I just will not do that. Simple. I'm going to get myself another power bank. That's all. Power bank is destroyed. Uh, finally, completely. But what's interesting is, since 2015, they played tremendously. Since 2017, it was, as far as here, Slovenia, this was like 50%. Here in Slovenia, this, this was just... Uh, a silicon masks 2017 I wouldn't bet I wouldn't give my I wouldn't waste my brain on in 2017 they were playing too much with the silicon masks this they started like in 2015 and 2017 it was nothing but silicon masks almost in Slovenia here this is crazy stuff um, and it was not even difficult to to pinpoint who because you know I did explain some already but the individual wanted me to see the assistance from this young couple as a pest as somebody who is out there to basically fuck me who came here to damage me or rather than to help me out and so it was a paranoia about how Whoever used his mask, because I know he was not here, he is going to come here and it's going to be the cost to meet me like this. It's going to, sorry, it's going to be the power bank. I'm going to fuck you up. I know it was not he. I know. Don't worry about it, man. Uh, I really, really appreciate it. I'm thankful. But this is the way they want it. This is how they wanted me to see this thing, Zeus. I'll tell you that. Uh, the day before I met them, something like this, it was the power bank. Day two was destroyed. So, there was more stuff. They, they, um, they started with the paranoia, mm -hmm. how whomever they have used, He's going to use some kind of weapon on me. Directed energy weapon. That's crazy shit. Uh, insisting me and it's going to be a last time that we're going to see each other this time. Because then 
I will be most likely dead. That kind of shit. I know he wouldn't go into any of that, but he was done. Uh, this is a country of Borut Pahor, of Milan Kuchan, of Udba, of Mr. Zoran Yankovic. These are the people, and Yanis Yansha, these are the people that belong to Udba. These are people that used to belong to all the Yugoslav police. This is not a state police only. These were the people that would kill. They will go out there and kill person. Not here in Slovenia only. They were restrained. They were not restrained here to this territory only, but also outside, whatever. These are the kind of people that are involved in this case. So, knowing that this couple, this beautiful couple, this 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 people had no interest in that, but they had other interests. I know which interests they had, which other interests they did not have. In 2012, the kid, the British kid, told me he got exceptionally good pay in Munich, in Germany. Munich, this is where a lot of nice people, this is where the Stefan, uh, the kid, I don't know, the kid, I mean, he, he is a little younger than I am, but he's not a kid, that I met, that met me over there at uh, Stadigat here, not too far, a castle, not too far, near Torchets. I already identified him and his friend, a lot of nice people in, in, in this Munich, people that liked me, but anyhow, uh, this is where he got a job, from Britain, this is where Royals got him a job, and because he was exceptionally well accepted in a company, this German company, uh, they told me they because they were updating me. And he is a very, very likable person, a soft, nice person. Uh, they got him a job, and and he was very happy with his employment. Uh, thanks God, he was, and uh, this this American girl. Uh, she got a job there too, and uh, I have no idea how the two met though. Was it through MK Ultra that, that she came here and, and the two met? Or what was it in 2012? But she got involved in this. A very, very nice girl, very, very dedicated, very, very determined to help me out. So that's why I'm not under, after the people like this, you know, this is, this is not, this is not anywhere idea, and not even after the people who did stuff, whatever they did, as long as you are aware of what you did, how, and why, is okay. If you had good intention, you know, people after jobs and so on, this I understand, I, I get, I get where people come from, but I, I couldn't agree with some other issues that somebody would try to throw on my shoulders and stuff like this so that whatever that I do not agree with it um, he told me from like this from the start that the pay is going to be 40 45 thousand but then he told me that he had some kind of probation period or something like this like six months this and then six months that something like that like a year that this and that. I don't know if that's true or not. And they didn't... He... This kid, this British kid, he wanted to desperately help me out. He... He would... As when we would walk, he would... <laughs> boy, he would... He would just... I don't know what the hell he wouldn't do for me. No, seriously. Um, in the dark, when we would walk... And I, I was just a bad student when I was jocked up. I, I didn't get. I, I felt good next to him, and he had me in this an MK Ultra. We walked around, uh, and he would pull me on the side, and he would he would go, Bobby, Bobby, uh, you have to, 
remember this and remember that you remember this you remember this and that you remember this you have to remember you have to remember for him this was a matter of life and death for me concerning myself I know that that and and the girl was just as dedicated just just as much so a couple no this got nothing to do with them but it was part of this brainwash was great pay and it was uh he did, he did solicit, he did, like we say, EPP, economic propaganda, uh, economic commercial, like in a funny way. When you see on a TV, you see a reclama, you see commercials. He did that for the Germany, he did. A, uh, a good pay, uh, uh, when, I, when I say to you, Minich, 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 good, this is good, Germany, this is good pay or good money, this. And there was somebody else in this behind all this stuff that angered me tremendously. Uh, that was Mr. Olaf Scholz, the one who replaced Angela Merkel, that did not go well with my plans, that he came up with the idea that uh, first of all, you don't know much about me. I know, I know that you're German, and I know that that you're extraordinary, full of shit. You know, full of yourself, Mr. Schultz. I'm talking about Mr. Schultz. Uh, you are so full of shit that I considered you on that MKO was mentally retarded. You considered me, but I consider you today as a crazy fucking pervert excuse me that I turned this way but what the fuck 18 years 17 years I listened how much money I'm gonna get it amounted to half a trillion dollar in 2012 Merkel told me owes, Germany law owns me about five and a half billion dollars in front of the new building they built for a German espionage headquarters in Berlin. The building opened, they started to operate before officially it was open. And you get the fucking idea that, well, what kind of idea the hell do you get now that I'm gonna do what exactly? Um, he was obsessed with, first of all, it was van der Leyen and it was Sebastian Kurz in 2008 they just were going they tried at all costs that 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 they're going to be partnering with me business and this and that I don't mind this you see I don't mind because I like people with great mind and this isn't I know that 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 maybe I did display it a little bit voracious attitude in respect to uh, in respect to money. Probably I did on Adam Kiyotra because I don't negotiate about stuff like this. You know what Adam Kiyotra is. Would you negotiate about your money, about your stuff, drugged up? Would you want to do this kind of stuff? Would you go and, and do that kind of stuff? You wouldn't. Okay, you see, I didn't either. It was 25 years, no less, that I had to listen drugged up. Three years and a half for sure, 24-7 I was drugged up. Walked three and a half years in sleep about money issues. And so all I want to do is I want to be certain with whom I share the future. That's all I want to do with with the type of people I am dealing with. That's all I want to do. I don't mind to share the money. I don't mind to share money. But sharing money is a little bit more than just about sharing money. It's, it's more than about money. Money is more than just money to me. It's not worth much if it's not used for the right uh, for the right causes. 
for the right stuff. That money can be uh, rather your biggest enemy you possibly could encounter in this life. And so th this this wasn't about this. This this wasn't about that I wouldn't share with the people money. But some people had this kind of impression that I'm just whatever. Uh, that I think they had their own problems inside here. I I never had problems with with sharing people money. You have to work for the money. That of course there is no free money in this world. You have to do something to earn the money. You have to earn money. But I am not a person that is restrained to idea that I would pile the money and then sleep on that money and, I don't know, exploit, as they, they, they stated that I would go in and all kinds of stuff, crazy stuff that I would do to people and I don't know what. Uh, people work for free and stuff like this. But this is just... Uh, stuff that applies to certain politicians and so on that this never was this never was the point in my case however somebody to go and get a rotten idea how you gonna I'm not gonna say rather than to pay out what you owe because under MK Ultra, I didn't even want to know about. I filed for protection in a dozen of countries. All I wanted to do is have my life. Basically, go your way. Do your fucking stuff. If you know better and I'm no good, just let the person be. Let the person be alive. Uh, but they wouldn't do it. So if they wouldn't do it, then they require what now? Uh, they insisted that I have to prove the case of MK Ultra is actual. Okay, well, if you're gonna push me through the hell, hey, listen. In 2012, I was actually hospitalized because I started to talk about MK Ultra. When I started to get determined, I'm gonna get the case to the end, and I started to talk about the stuff they have done to me. What went on? What happened? The ambulance vehicle came and said, I didn't get no money. I didn't even ask for the money at the time. And I was gone. Shh. I disappeared. A magic stick. And where was the money? Where, what, what did this got to do with your money? Nothing. I had to run for life in other countries because of this fucking money of yours that I never even asked for. So it happened so that the last time after 2017 that I actually tried to immigrate to Russia and I did to Belarus through, U through Hungary, Poland, Ukraine. A trip to Poland took place, to Slovakia and then Poland. And what about all this money then. You see, Mr. Olaf Schultz started to build parallel to this money. Um, it was first von der Leyen and Sebastian Kurz that wanted to share with me the money, and then it was Mr. Schultz who got idea that maybe even better than money also would be that I repeat the 2017 and 2018. And that is basically for the sake of Mr. Milan Kuchan, uh, for the Udba, for the sake of Udba, for the sake of this Vladimir Putin, Alexander Vucic from Belgrade, for the Serbian Chetniks and Russian Putin KGB team. For the sake of the people that represent them here in Slovenia, for the sake of the people who did ruin my life, for their sake, that I'm going to go and fucking run now from my own homeland, from my own country again at age 50 uh, to the Germany, then this is what this case was designed, this is what this was all about. A good money in Munich. Scholz was in Munich. 
Now, Schultz was actually everywhere, not only in Munich. Once he did work, I think, in Munich too. I do believe that he did work. He might actually even have a company, maybe in Munich. I don't know what happened, but he, he did have a company. Something was some company in Munich. So what now? Just abandon all my fucking MK Ultra stuff and uh, go and run for what? For uh, as all the European outlets write about uh, European Chancellor they write about who's going to replace Angela Merkel who's going to be the new European uh, Chancellor who's going to who's going to represent this and that Euro European Europe and this and that uh, yes I shouldn't even mention this stuff because it it makes it puts me in a strange light in front of the people. Uh, being in a situation as I am talking about this kind of bullshit, Mr. Schultz, that's fucked up. This kind of stuff can only somebody that is German do. Other than that, I don't think anybody would do stuff, but this is bestial. Make no mistake about it. Even if this would be real, you wouldn't take this kind of approach, is what I'm trying to say for one thing. And the second thing, who the fuck crazy would be enough to go and throw the money away after the hell he have gone through like I did to actually prove what you demanded from me for no less than 27 years so that he can run for what? A run from what? Not a run for, but a run from what? From whom? So I can, what, so you're going to split cash with who? With Mr. Kuchun, with Mr. Pahor here. So you're going to award over there the Moscow, the Vladimir Putin, the Vucic, the people that threw themselves in front of Merkel, bagging like this, to give them money instead, than to pay me out stuff. This, what, what exactly is the plan here? How much money is it in Munich and this and that? You know, this is how you really treat, as they say, nute, hure. And again, I don't have nothing against ladies that perform whatever, uh, you know, sexual favors for the cost of money for their living. But, you know, in German, the expressions, two expressions I have used, they actually suggest on a person that is without peace, that is without the peace, that is without, without, in, in American, in English you say, in America they say peace of mind, tranquility. I am tranquil, I know what the fuck I'm doing. For every step, for every inch, every millimeter I know what I do. <laughs> What you did in 2012, actually 2017 and 2018 is regretful. That I had to run from my country to some other countries for bare skin to save my life from the, from the military, psychiatric military that this organization here, the Social Democrats in Slovenia have, this ex-Yugoslav Udba assassins, they have this kind of psychiatric here, completely under control. You are out of your mind, Mr. Scholz, you're fucking crazy. You destroyed me, American citizenship. You ruined my American citizenship by bringing me here, at your request, Americans did so subject me to the torture here and this was far worse than in Guantanamo I walked three and a half years dropped up 24-7 oftentimes without any kind of sleep I'm talking about walk walk what the fuck are you talking about job in Munich what are you talking about man pay well what is it that pays well 
police officers, correctional officers, retire at age 50 in the United States. Sir. What happened afterwards throughout the day? Inside, once I indicated the handcuffs on the phone, it was just nothing other than repetition of Shizoya, schizophrenia, from 2017, 2018, when I actually had to go and run for life. In this case, too, they also prepared me for run, this time, however, to Germany. And who else was involved in this stuff other than, again, Merkel and Mr. Schultz this time? Nothing is going to save me in this world, absolutely nothing, unless, 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 and it was unless for days under MK Ultra, and they repeat it. You go to Germany, Germany. Yeah. My mom even was obsessed with the idea for me to immigrate to Germany. There will be no fucking Germany. It doesn't matter the psychiatry. It doesn't matter shit. It's new me in front of you who have proofs at hands. And it's now you. And I'm going to say also to Mr. Germek, even that he audio and video recorded himself, I bet, because he did, they all do, on giving me an actual scenario on how I should see this complainers. He gave me. The Americans were involved in this stuff. Britons were involved in this stuff. Inside of this hospital, supposedly, they had South African government officials that would come and insist in front of me on several occasions on how I am dead no matter what I do. And there was this guy, friend of... Booster rhymes. I have to get the name. I didn't get. I didn't get the whole thing. They had some people from Bronx rappers and stuff like this. Americans that would also. Eh, you're dead. You don't help him no matter what. You understand? You're gonna die and this and it's gonna be uh, cancer and I, la, la, la 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 and so on and so forth. None of that kind of stuff applies to me anymore. Uh, this here, what happened is basically just as I have written, let me demonstrate to you. Here, I'm going to demonstrate to you, I have written exactly this kind of stuff on December the 28th, 2021. Then I would come out of the house and I would meet this couple. It's a crazy stuff they brainwashed me on. Uh, in respect to cancer that I have, the cancer. Um, it could be, I don't actually maybe even have the cancer. You understand? Look at me. There was some Chinese friends who told me that I might not even have a cancer. They told me this stuff could maybe be even done through the teeth, therefore through the blood uh, infection. There is a tea they play with uh, that went bad in Poland. Once I got to the Poland, it all, once it started, it lasted about one year before that two just broke apart so it could be that that it was under the two because it was it was drilled like a volcano like a volcano you could put in there anywhere anything you wanted to literally that just then broke apart i have a video recorded that stuff too that i have to demonstrate to you and the day the two did broke there was a british people i met in poland in the center of the poland uh, that would come to meet me, talking to me about the tooth. And they talk, they they spoke about that they have this kind of stuff that they can they can just excuse me detonate inside of your tooth, 
and then it, it, it breaks your plumb and stuff like this. I'm not saying that this was the case, but I don't know what I would say to you. A Chinese told me this is actually infection and blood infection, but I think it's, it's, it's far more. I don't think, I don't think it could be stuff like this, the four years already that you would have as I have stated clearly when I came, and you're going to hear in Slovenian language, uh, a sound of pressure that you can hear also in ears, in the rear of the head, therefore not in a nap, in, in a tilniku, not here under the head in the rear, but in the rear of the head where the small brain is located, and you can hear me this on an audio that I clearly explained what it is. Mr. Garmet talk about nap, about this here, in the rear of the below head. Never spoke about that. So he misrepresented the facts here on this. He lied about a pressure, a blood pressure, because I said, I don't know, why don't you tell me, he asked me a question, and consequently it was written as 99 through 71, no, it was 90 through 71, I know it was 90, but I didn't remember what the other number was, you see, so you could, you're going to hear, two, two nurses, you're going to hear them saying, it's very low, it's a little bit low, the pressure. Okay. He lied about uh, my urine that doesn't smell. Okay. First of all, in my portable john that I use, that day, in case you did, Mr. Germick, like you said you're going to do under MK Ultra. Uh, let me explain to you something. There was mostly water inside. Because I do this due to hygienic reasons. Um, no, it, it really is not smelly, I can tell you that. Uh, it's quite clear, but still, he didn't take, they did not examine my urine that day. Here is written, they did, they did not. Um, if I go over this, just briefly if I go over this, this is about 50 year old because of spasms in my legs, a pressure in my head, being weakened. Um, okay, I'm going to give you at the end of this, I'm going to give you more, I'm going to give you my take on that. Um, Matcha is means that I have a spasms in an upper part above the knees. Those are matcha. Uh, although I actually described clearly, I told him that I have spasms, um, cramps just above the oculus area. It starts during the sleep. And those are becoming more and more intensive. They would not want to go away. And I would actually would wake me up. All through, and it's also that I doubt that it could be only a cancer, the reason. I have no idea what it is. The psychiatrists are using the weapon. It could also be other scenario used here. I also am experiencing strange situation. Lately I did. When I was waking with the spasms right in the middle of the sleep, and then those would go away, and I could again sleep without any kind of spasms. Once I get up, there is no spasms. So if the psychiatrists are using some kind of weapon of some kind, that's very possible. I also have to say that once, just as I was told and under MK Audrey, the case is going to be, unless I was poisoned, of course, my lips were really like like from the people that are like 90 or 100 years old and I was told this is how it's going to be twice they did this stuff 
they will pull their lips completely like this. I probably appear like really 90 or 100 years old. I don't recall ever anything like this would be possible. Uh, unless because of what Germans told me, they will know exactly. They know a lot about how the cancer patients on how they uh, react to certain uh, situations they encounter through this metamorphosis they go through because of cancer. Uh, the strange feels they uh, they become aware that otherwise are not. Uh, they will use all kinds of ideas that one easily could be fooled on because of very unusual stuff that I'm going to go through uh, with ingestion me rather than it's cancer and poisoning through the, done through poisoning whatever with weapons they insisted me that they have weapons here installed on top of the house uh, Mrs. Merkel insisted me that she congratulates repeatedly to husband from my niece Mitya Weber for installing the weapon of some kind also uh, he boasted about ability to radiate to the certain uh, distance uh, perform radiation uh, he is a PhD in electronics and uh, under his crazy profile whatever that was on the internet he posted not only boasted to me, but posted that he is an expert about measuring the radiation and that does this for also for living like a hobby that goes to the people's places and does this for their housing and stuff like this. So, you know, if he didn't do it, uh, then that, that's a good way to drive somebody paranoid. That's all I'm going to say. That's bullshit. That's not really that something is wrong with the person. states here that that I got a feeling entire day long as if I would have water in my ears uh, that it's a sound of shum that it's something like like the water that's going through that's actually a crazy stuff um not like I have a water inside of my ears, but as if the water would go behind my eardrums. Yes, like if you would be submerged under the water, and then you would, this water would pop the eardrums in and out. You know what I mean? Uh, actually, I told him as if you would be elevating in the elevating. Uh, he would be changing the altitude he would have the eardrums popping in and out feeling uh, so this is not this is crazy this shit is crazy I have fucking water in my head like how man uh, from 2018 that I feel the pressure in my nape nap I think this is this is in English language. That's crazy. I never said that in my lifetime to anybody. I never had any of that stuff. I said clearly, with the small brain uh, brains are located, and that's actually in the rear of the head here. Really is, and I mentioned it's called hypertension. Uh, it could be also whatever the expression is for the low pressure. It's also sort of same kind of problem uh, that could cause that kind of stuff and then you could hear this in your ears right that's what I stated I never said I never said that I had a pressure here since 2018 that's insane and for that matter it says here that I already was considered to the hospital it's crazy I never was I was in Poland so I was very clear about that too 
So I have no idea. It says that they already examined me and they couldn't find anything about it. So this is craziness. Uh, that two months ago I had trouble with. Since two months ago. That's crazy. I have a problem with the sleep already since last four years. That was reduced to six hours of sleep, but because now the sleep went down to three, four hours, that's just too much for me. That's an overload. Uh, and that I don't know the reason for an ability to get sleep. Yeah, fuck, yeah. It wakes you up something. I don't know what it is, but it wakes you up and you just can't sleep anymore. You just can't sleep anymore. Whatever it is, whatever wherever that's done. It's not only the cramps, the spasms above the aculus area. It's also the sound that goes crazy, that wakes you up. You won't sleep. I don't have any kind of uh, vertigo, uh, and I don't have any kind of loss of conscience. Is what's also reported here. That's correct. All through once, one time I did have. Uh, that I go on a restroom regularly do, and I don't observe any kind of blood, any kind of... Um, It's not going to come to me. Slows. It's not going to come to me. That it's normal, yeah, more or less. Uh, urine that does not smell, and I am not uh, burning. I don't feel any kind of burnings. Uh, well, that's true. All true, I think that should be examined. Uh, that's how I understand that... The questions like this, the best answer you get, you do your job. Uh, nobody examined me about that stuff. Since 2014, that's actually basically written right here under his uh, whatever he managed to notice about me. Um, I was given a diagnose of a paranoid schizophrenia. Actually, that was since 2012. Uh, this definition is label that's a labeling someone with a lie however never was proven there is no actual proof that I have this and I have on contrary submitted numerous proofs about MK Ultra so I didn't even get the right to the second opinion in Slovenia since 2012 well that's almost 10 years uh I would not go and even try to suggest that in Belarus they couldn't find anything wrong with me as far as a paranoid schizophrenia, that they didn't find any signs of paranoid schizophrenia. I wouldn't even go that far. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't lower myself to that level. Um, I'm not taking a regular therapy, therefore this medications, allergies that I didn't decline that I don't have any um, that I'm a non-smoker non-alcoholic drinker I am physically active not vaccinated against the COVID and I did not suffer infection, COVID infection either I am Neprizadet how you would translate this I'm not um, it's got several meanings it could be retarded uh, that doesn't mean retarded that means I'm not in a sense slowed down let's say due to some sort of um, not exactly cardio but maybe brain difficulty in that sense I'm well oriented I'm talkative um, and then he cites here anikterichen atsianotichen vamiravanyo abnotichen what he means by this is that I am well responsive and uh, normally normal in every sense sitting whatever 
Um, then I don't know what exactly is Alpha Brio uh, S T T thirty six five and S A T O two nine nine percent plus fifty four minutes uh, per minute. Uh, but I know that pressure was not correctly done. Uh, it says that I don't have any kind of the notes and large or anything like this. I don't have any kind of uh, systematic uh, not notice any any kind of no um, spleen, uh, liver issues, any kind of pain in my abdomen area. I don't have any of that. They did not notice anything like this. Uh, soft neck. Uh, not enlarged lymph nodes I already stated he does not detect any kind of sound uh, did it perform um, did it perform examination also on a my English is worsening for breathing issues, cardio, and all that, everything okay. Uh, chest symmetric, not really, this side here is, as I stated one time, I believe, probably really, Mike Tyson did hit me when I was jumped up, that's like really heroic. Uh, yeah, that's a very high possibility about that, we have to find out about this. Everything okay, breathing, uh, clean, a uh, heart function, rhythmic, normal. Everything perfect. Uh, uh, stomach, no stomach, normal. Uh, yeah, yeah, the stuff I already have stated. Now that's something I don't understand. Uh, that is talking about the sinus, sinus uh, frequency and that kind of stuff. Okay, everything is as normal. Then you have uh, some kind of a blood examination, this and that. Uh, this is already you're going to see also. Uh, pretty much stated that absolutely everything is normal with me. Um, and... Uh, Now he gives, I suppose, a second opinion because I don't know. Uh, I didn't report that stuff, and, and the second, in his opinion, is written that 50-year-old was 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 examined because of the spasms in my legs, pressure on my head, and he's talking about again, I believe, upper area. All through. He could be referring also to the lower area because he's talking about the matra. It's got a different meaning in Slovenian language. And it, the proper the proper term this is not. I'm gonna say like this. This is this is the proper this would be the tiva bow oculus area. That terminology will be way more appropriate than what he is referring to. Matra that's like a large piece of chunk of basically meat muscles and this is not what I was there and I explained this clearly no pressure in head no uh, weakness one to two months is what the troubles interact with the quantity of sleep I don't find any specialties anything that would uh, be out of tolerance for normal uh, I 
recommend to the German uh, as soon as possible to visit his psychiatrist. <laughs> if he'd like to get a second opinion, and he also advised me to wait until 7 o'clock till the other physician would arrive, um, it didn't make me sense. Uh, what made me sense was just for me to get this here written that everything was normal with me. It's impossible that everything was normal with me. Uh, he did not mention anywhere, not even that I mentioned to him that uh, the erection strength of mine, maybe this is a little bit strange for the guys, but still at age 46, um, I, I could probably have ejaculation orgasm ten times a day if I wanted to. It made no difference to me. Uh, and then once this stuff started, it would just go systematically down. I did explain this stuff to the physician, to the lady physician, I explained her this clearly. Um, that's actually one of the signs that you have a failure with uh, a liver. That's a spleen problem. It could indicate cancer problems. That's a very serious stuff. That I don't hear the sounds if I go on a very long distance walk. That's clearly indicating there is something with a blood that has got something to do with the blood Mr. Germick stated to me under MK Ultra that uh, we'll do it this way so that in the future whenever I go to hospital that I pay attention absolutely to everything to every uh, every measurement done so that I know exactly what's going on, this and that, you know, that kind of stuff. Uh, but this doesn't prove anything. Uh, he was involved in it. Uh, apparently he got... Hmm. Maybe touched by this case? This doesn't mean shit. Look, uh, the police officers, when they came to a gentleman here, to Mr. Gedjo here, to the Serbian guy, and to his son, the only thing they did was they jumped. They reached out for any possible weapon I would have on myself. A knife that night would get me inside of the psychiatric hospital. You understand? Fuck this what I told you, what proofs I gave you, this and that, when you could le lose absolutely entire life within a minute. And that's when the two assaulted me. It was assault on me. That police would just not want to see. With Mr. Germek's situation is identical. The examination was not done. Uh, this is a matter, I'm going to say, a fact that he was involved in it, is a matter for police. This is not even the medical profession to decide about this. Uh, he was quick to insist me that it's the schizophrenia uh, that is causing this unrest that I don't get that I don't get sleep because of the schizophrenia since 2018 he insisted but he mentioned here in this paper in his own words that I'm experiencing problems with the sleep only for the last two months. This guy fucking lied. Every word written here is actually a lie. Yeah. 
uh, I'm not a physician, but according to what he stated himself, if I would go to another clinic and he talked about the cleaning, he's going to go there, he's going to go there, but he's in... And they talked about to me about these clinics, about some other clinics that uh, they told me the no clinic is going to give me different results. You know, he talked to me like somebody like uh, like a like a boss, like a Orwellian that that knows it all, and nobody can do nothing to one. Basically, that he is just uh, like he's in charge of. Uh, you know, there's no place to run, basically, in this and that. that. That's the kind of grandeur, the feeling they try to give you. They try to basically break your will, wear you down, so that you wouldn't go. And I did have a problem that day, but let me tell you. I was fucked up. I barely got myself together and went. Uh, a physician, a female physician mentioned to me that I should just take more magnesium, that kind of stuff. Uh, but I pretty much know what the problem is. The problem is something with spleen, something with liver, and it could be they're using something else. But this does definitely has impact on what I stated right now. Um, the infection. A blood infection through the two but that's a possibility too this is what I was taught uh, by some Chinese but this is not necessary it could be it could be I'm not saying that not but these are very very unusual very much cancers so like you know, I'm not saying you cannot get one you can science uh, and I'm not experiencing any kind of infection, something that I would have or something like this. Here it's stated also that I have clean teeth and stuff like this somewhere. And I can say that nobody examined my teeth that day. Uh, nobody knew anything about my white teeth as is written somewhere. That's all I can say about this medical examination. Um, all this stuff, about, all this talk about the psychiatrist. Uh, that's a bunch of horse shit. That later they have even orchestrated me with uh, once I turned on phone. And I started to look into these handcuffs, uh, and the people got really, really nervous <laughs> because they did very bad stuff that time when I was drugged up. The MK Ultra at this occasion went for several years. They guaranteed me I'm going to be back, and I told them under MK Ultra that they're going to be arrested. I insisted them under MK Ultra that they're going to be arrested. And these people seems like they play on my self-confidence so much that I wouldn't even think about. Well, that's kind of stupid. Uh, I bet after this video, your mindset is just going to be at the right level because you finally do understand that my self-confidence never was questionable and never will be. That's ridiculous. Um, I'm also not angry at the guys that did go upstairs uh, but as soon as I saw one of the guys that that walked, boy, I was like, the worst that somebody can do to me is uh, probably something like Hollywood people. Uh, Hollywood people that <laughs> talk to me about how they're going to be uh, deciding about me based on how I'm gonna write the stuff and stuff like this, man. Uh, that kind of stuff. How I'm gonna see the things as you're fucking crazy. You don't even know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, many of you, you can say, you can thank me for a good school. Uh, you learn 
about everything about this world you know nothing about uh, addressing here especially black community in the United States of America I bet you had no fucking idea what the world is like at all till you got into this case I hope for that exact reason that you're going to be a better people I take pride in making this world a better place uh, if I was bad it definitely resulted in something better in this world for everything I did um, Kamala Harris that embraced uh, Serbian Chetniks knew very nothing about who these people are when she did in 97 and 98 when she got an idea about the Belgrade her her idea uh, she she had no fucking clue and it, it goes the same in only about her entire delegation Democrats that, that would go there they didn't have no fucking clue who they deal with these were the people that would basically volunteer like a front line to go and they usually do go to places where people are defenseless they could do and they understand did volunteered for Africa they would do magic down there you have no idea these are bits not even people I would say what they did in Bosnia to practically their own people and in Croatia because Bosnian people are a mixture of Serbs and Croats with and some Turkish too uh, with uh, a Muslim religion it's a fucking miracle how somebody can do something like this to their own people with same language and so on you gotta you gotta uh, understand the mentality of these people this is not a regular uh, this is not your honeymoon this is not your trip to um, I don't know to a Disneyland to Miami Beach to Bahamas or something like this this is a trip to some other part of the world that you should first you should pay respect you should go to Srebrenica, you should go to Croatia, to Vukovar and see what they did, what this is. Then you would know what exactly you as a foreigner, as a stranger mean to them. Okay, thanks for watching this video. Uh, no way <laughs> am I going to go uh, and give all this to Mr. Kuchan and to Mr. Borupaho. These people are to face the justice here they're talking about the elections we first have to see if the elections are going to take place before some people are going to be actually arrested taken away for the sake of public because it's no good they're no good they're up to no good uh, people I'm not going to go into it you can read about all on my news site Thanks for watching this video. I especially thank to the young couple, to the English, uh, English, English, very, very proud English, English, English. For me, he is a kid. He is steady too. He's a man. He's a young, good-looking man. Uh, very nice girlfriend. He has an American. Uh, I was touched with her. And as we did go apart at this restaurant, as I told them, go with a dog. It was a beautiful dog they have. Uh, and I was a dog. Per I'm a dog person, and and this dog, they go, they uh, they go right in front of our house with this dog. And I go, oh, look at that dog. You know, I wanted to play with the dog a little bit, and. I I wasn't sure whether I'm daydreaming when they started to talk to me in English. Uh, in a perfect English and I was like uh, like this basically uh, really surprised 
the two end the conversation with me as we went apart that we're not even sure uh, about the future basically job wise you know uh, they don't have children yet and it's a young beautiful couple for whom I wish the hope I, I, I hope the best and I do want to thank to both of them. They did whatever they were obligated to do. They did their commercial about, they did really good. Germany, very good, and so on and so forth. Um, but I am not looking forward to leave this place. And nor am I going to let whatever I'm going to claim, and I claim is mine, uh, to slip through my hands. I am not going to chase some kind of career uh, or whatever or run from somebody. Uh, I am just going to stick to whatever I was promised to and pursue the justice. So that who knows, I hope maybe this couple maybe they can even work with me uh, thanks for watching this video today is December the 31st 2021 it's almost 3 o'clock in the morning and um, and for tomorrow uh, I wish you a happy new year till next time